Good evening dear viewer. Lord Pounce would like to thank you for watching this video. Before he makes his appearance, if you already are a subscriber of the channel, please do hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe for weekly exciting videos. I will now be releasing the missile of introduction. Enjoy the video. Thank you for the introduction Becky. Becky is my virtual assistant. She has a sexy voice and is responsible for the visual effects on the Pounce Headball 2 channel. So what are we talking about today? Uh, yes, the famous or infamous rainbow cards. Some of you may know everything there is to know about these cards, but for some of you, it may be something you do not quite understand yet. We will define and understand the rainbow cards, see where we can find them, and finally, see how we can use them to get missing character cards or exchange them for diamonds. All of this will be shown in this video, so watch until the end. As always, please remember that every time something new is released in the game, Massimo provides a section on their website describing the features. Becky, please direct us to the section of Massimo's website about rainbow cards, if you will. Of course, my beautiful lord. You can access that link in the description below. Now, let us read together what Massimo says about rainbow cards. Rainbow cards can be used to unlock and upgrade common, rare, legendary, and exclusive characters. With rainbow cards, you can complete any character in your roster, including low-level characters. For now, you can obtain these cards from limited time bundle offers, scratches, Wheel of Fortunes, play of the match, daily logging, and events. A few things to note here. Rainbow cards cannot be used to unlock or upgrade heroic characters. This is important to know, especially if you want to buy them with your gems. Understanding all the features will help you make sure you do not waste your gems. We've also just seen where you can get and obtain them, all these cards. Let us go through them again. In the market, scratches, where there is the spinning wheel of fortune, scam of the match, when logging in daily and at events. Remember, these are subject to change without warning notice, depending on Massimo. Let's now move on. Once you obtain rainbow cards, all you need to do is select an available level range and which character cards you want to use. You will obtain rainbow cards as stacks and you can obtain multiple stacks at once, but you cannot divide the stacks for different characters. Any extra card after reaching the card requirement for that character's level 6 upgrade will duplicate into diamonds. You need to use your rainbow cards at the time when you obtain them. You cannot keep them to use later. But if somehow you lose your connection to the game while obtaining them, you can use them in your next session. For example, if you obtain 25, 50, and 100 cards, rainbow cards from the same play of the match steps, you can use 25 on Mystic Panda, 15 on Kraken, and 100 on Sky Master but you cannot divide any of them to use on different characters. If all of the characters in your roster are at max level 6, you should select any of your characters to receive the duplicate in diamonds. Don't forget, better rarity means a better amount on the duplicate. Now we know everything there is to know about rainbow cards, where to get them, how to use them, and more. Becky, can you please direct us to the market section and see if there is an offer for the rainbow cards, please? Of course, my beautiful lord. Lovely, Becky. Thanks a lot. I love your explosions, by the way. So let us get back to the topic of the day. We are now in the market. As you can see, this hot deal is offering 150 rainbow cards for 1.5 million gold coins. I'll be posting a video on this offer after this one, so be sure to check it out. Spoiler alert, free diamond. Remember what Massimo said about rainbow cards. Number one, you can use the number of cards shown to add to your common, rare, exclusive, or legendary characters for which you are short, in this case, the offer is for 150. Consider them as joker cards, or two can exchange them for diamonds. I now buy 150 rainbow cards for 1.5 million gold. We now click get prize and get to the screen where we see all the characters. I'm scrolling down all my level 40 to 50 characters right now. I am now at level 10 or 20 where I still have one character to unlock, which is Jackal. I currently have 35 or 50, which means the character is not unlocked yet. Click on the character and then click on the green use rainbow card box. Now a confirmation window appears asking us if we really want to use the 150 rainbow cards for this character. We click yes 
And as you can see, all the cards are added to the character and it is now unlocked. Bravo. We are now back in the market and we'll make another purchase, but this time not to get missing character cards, but to exchange the rainbow cards for diamonds. Since the purchase price is in gold and gold is easier and faster to generate with the 2000% skill card, using gold in exchange for diamond is a good option. I do not recommend using manager cash or emerald for this, as these are much harder to get than gold coins. We now click on get price and get to the screen where we see all the characters. Here we have to be careful because each type of character gives us back a different number of diamonds. You can exchange your rainbow cards for common, rare, legendary and exclusive characters. Common characters give us back one diamond per card. So here for the blue bear, we get 150 diamonds in exchange for 150 rainbow cards, which we do not want to do. Rare characters give us back one diamond per card. So here for Red Devil, we would get 150 diamonds in exchange for 150 rainbow cards, which we also do not want to do. Legendary characters give us back two diamonds per card. So here for Mad Clown, we would get 300 diamonds in exchange for 150 rainbow cards, which is exactly what we want to do. I always like to exchange rainbow cards for my legendary characters, but I do so at the highest level make sure I do not make a mistake. So here I am trading my 150 rainbow cards for 300 diamonds using clan leader. As you can see, the diamond balance has gone from 156 200 to 156 500. Becky, please take us back to the home screen for the conclusion of this video, please. Of course, my beautiful Lord, your orders are my command. Thank you, Becky. You have been very useful as always and so lovely. So there you have it, folks. That's it for the rainbow cards. Do not miss my next video where we purchase numerous rainbow cards in the market. I was your host, Pounce. I'll be seeing you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Lord Pounce would like to once again thank you for watching this video. If you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please do, so you may be notified of all exciting videos that will be released. If you enjoyed the entertainment and content of this video, Lord Pounce would be grateful for you to hit the like button. I am Becky and I will be chatting with you in our next video. Stay safe my darlings.